I'm Bob Burridge, and Kate's following me in my studio today. I'm getting myself ready to do some window paintings. You know that fun thing we're talking about right now? So I have some heavy panels here. So the cheap Joe panels. Some gesso. Gesso. Some, some gesso ones. Lots of gesso. This is the gesso brush. At least that's what it says, so. Start the handle. Okay. The gesso's good. To, it makes the paint stick better. Gesso has a lot of pigment in this. A lot of pigment. It only requires one coat. See? Nice one. Alright, alright, now we're gonna go into the studio with this. I already have one already wet inside. Let's go. Here we go. So I did a whole lot of smaller ones. They're spread all over the floor right now, working on my color wheel. And when I hit that one, I said, wow, that's just like those reflections on the floor of Notre Dame when I was doing a workshop there. So I started doing a whole series of reflections on the floor uh, based on my color wheel. All right, here we go. So here we go. So I already have a sketch. It's gonna be a very, very simple composition. Horizontal, really dark, but the dominant color is going to be green. Green. So I'll go to my, my color wheel. Green is going to be the dominant color. Focal point will be this hot pink. And the two spice colors, this orange and blue. So see how simple that is to get started. So here's gesso. It's already been dried. These are wonderful panels. Very sturdy. I put some of this cream on my hands. Let's say hand barrier cream. That way I don't have to wear gloves. <clears throat> so it's pretty good stuff. Water. There we go. My white. Gesso. It is my white. To have some choices. I'm gonna throw some yellow in there too. Just a little bit. For that green. Focal point is this hot pink opera. And let's tone it down a little bit. Magenta. Here's the color. Spice colors. Bob, talk a little louder, please. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm mumbling. <laughs> I see. There we go. I was mumbling. I talk to myself when I'm doing all of this. There are the spice colors. in here, the other one is going to be blue-ish. There's the blue. That's the other blue. There we go. <clears throat> and focal point color. There's my green. Ready to go. Composition, here we are. So focal, I'm gonna put in the focal point color first. Because that's the purest, purest color. And here we go. Somewhere right in here. Can't miss that color. No way. I'm gonna go all the way across. 
across. And as I go further away, it's going to get darker. That's what's going to make it look like it's glowing. Glowing. Okay. See, it's starting to look like it's gl glowing already. All right. Let's see where this goes. So I go further away, further away, further away. Nice. But the dominant color is going to be green. Ooh, let's see what that's going to look like. Green. What the towel. Here we go. Oh, here's where they clash. This will make it dramatic. Not really the effect I'm going for. I also want it to be strange cost. Yeah. <clears throat> I want this to be a different kind of a white. Let's see. Let's see what this color is going to end up being. I want it to be there, but not really draw too much attention to itself. Boy, and that worked out because I used all the colors. Became a natural neutral, huh? Nice, cool. All right, now let's get back to the green. I always lose it. Let me get it back. Right. Oh, working all over. Don't stay in one place too long. See, I'm looking for a glow. This was what I saw on the floor. There we go. Let me kick it up a little bit more. Yeah. More water. Make it wetter. More translucent. So it looks like it's glowing a little bit. And let's add some white in there, just a little bit of white. A little bit of this, here we go. All right. Yeah, it glows now. <laughs> let's hear it for opera. It's a great color, isn't it? Fun to play with. You know, just look how it just kicked up that whole paint and just just in that one area already. Lots of water. Oh, it's starting to glow. Far out. I like where this is all going. I like the fact that it's not even like cut out paper. I like it's still painterly. Wow, I like where it's going. I'm gonna let it, let it alone. Maybe give it a score of score of alcohol. Oh, just a little bit. It's only go there. It's mostly happening only in there. I think that's enough for now. <clears throat> we'll let it settle down. And again, I don't make a decision the day I do a painting if it's done or not. Let it settle down a little bit, you know, and when it dries, hang it up on the wall, and then walk away, go outside of the studio, and then come back a little bit later. And the first thing that hits me, it's either yes or no, or let's keep working on it. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm getting ready to do my 
series of a whole bunch of uh, paintings square based on windows, either looking in or looking out, and, or the reflection of windows. For me, I'm gonna be doing the reflection of windows. And I can't wait to see all your work too. Take care, I'm Bob Burridge.